UMS flow well. Performance under pressure. Position the pump support assembly to allow easy access to the top connection. Make up the swivel lift nub into the pump support assembly. Pick up the pump support assembly, which at this point should have the ESP spear removed, using elevators via the provided elevator shoulder on the swivel lift nub. Make up the pump support assembly to the tailpipe tubing. Remove the slips and lower the string into the well until the top of the pump support assembly is approximately 4 feet above the deck. Open the work table door and lift the work table into position. Secure the pump support assembly using a bypass safety clamp. Remove the elevators and swivel lift nut. Pick up the first joint of bypass tubing, required by the space out diagram, and make up to the pump support assembly. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the bypass tubing to a working height. Reinstall the bypass safety clamp and remove the elevators and swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the next joint of bypass tubing required by the space out diagram and make up to the bypass tubing below. Remove the bypass safety clamp and work table. Pick up the string with elevators until the pump support base is at working height. Make up the ESP gauge spear to the base of the ESP gauge and set the lock ring height to the height required as per the space out. Pick up the motor section with the ESP lift clamp and locate the spear into the pump support block as shown. Orientate the motor such that the vertical bypass line drawn on the motor is aligned correctly with the bypass tubing. Open the front gate on the work table and move it back into position. Lower the string, keeping tension on the ESP side until the ESP lifting clamp lands on the work table. Install the bypass safety clamp and remove the lifting chains. Pick up the ESP protector section and install it onto the motor section. Once installed, remove the motor ESP lifting clamp. Remove the bypass safety clamp and pick up sufficiently to gain access to the MLE pothead. Install the MLE cable. Install the first bypass tubing clamp and retain the MLE cable. Lower the string, keeping tension on the ESP side until the ESP lifting clamp lands on the work table. Install the bypass safety clamp and remove the lifting chains, elevators, and swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the spacer length of bypass tubing with the elevators and make up. Remove the elevators and swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the next length of bypass tubing and make up. Pick up the pump intake, complete with first pump section, and make up to the ESP protector. Remove the ESP clamp and install the second bypass tubing clamp. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the string, keeping tension on the ESP side until the ESP clamp lands on the table. Install the bypass safety clamp and remove the lifting chains. Pick up the second pump section and install onto the first pump section.
Remove the ESP clamp and install the third bypass tubing clamp. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the string until the top of the bypass tubing is at working height. Reinstall the bypass safety clamp, then remove the elevators and swivel lift nut. Pick up the next length of bypass tubing and make up. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the string until the ESP clamp lands on the table. Reinstall the bypass safety clamp and remove the lifting chains. Pick up the third and final ESP pump section and install. Remove the ESP clamp and install the fourth bypass tubing clamp. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the string until the top of the bypass tubing is at working height. Reinstall the bypass safety clamp and remove the elevator and swivel lift nut. Pick up the next section of bypass tubing required by the space out diagram and make up. Remove the bypass safety clamp and lower the string until the ESP clamp lands on the table. Reinstall the bypass safety clamp and remove the lifting chains, elevators, and swivel lift nubbin. Pick up the Y tool assembly with the elevators and move into position. Ensure that the Y tool assembly is correctly aligned and orientated relative to the ESP and bypass tubing. Make up the bolt on head to the discharge pressure sub. Remove the ESP clamp. Remove the four grub screws and back off the support ring. Make up the telescopic swivel to the bypass tubing. Tighten up the lock ring on the telescopic swivel to ensure all tension is transferred through the bypass tubing. Make up the support ring and reinstall the grub screws. Remove the bypass safety clamp and work table. Fit the final bypass tubing clamp onto the discharge head neck and retain the MLE cable. Lower the Y tool body to a working height. Secure the MLE cable to the Y tool body with clips. Continue to run in the hole and secure with slips. To find out more about the Y tool with pump support system, please contact sales at umsflowwell.com.